video does not call for violence. The video shows the process of feeding a predatory insect. If you are an impressionable person, please stop watching this video. Hello! Today there will be something new for you. Finally I managed to get a real wasp spider in the terrarium. The main character of our video is named Edja Brunig, in honor of the Danish zoologist Morten Train Brunig. It is also called the Tiger Edjob and the Wasp Spider, obviously because of its appearance, but not for its predatory nature. The upper side of the spider's abdomen is painted with yellow, black and white stripes. Thanks to this color, it really resembles a wasp. I was lucky to get a female and a male of this species. The male differs by its size, it is much smaller than the female. And the abdomen itself is longitudinal and elongated. It's interesting to know why. So, because in the nature nothing happens for no reason. We're probably dealing with mimicry. The spider wants to be like a wasp, so that it is not touched by predators. The wasp spider came to this look in the result of natural selection. Because of such resemblance to a wasp, I decided to find out what will happen if a wasp spider and common wasps saw each other. I was lucky to get a wall hornet's nest in which the wasps are. Now, my task is to lower this hornet's nest so that the wasps inside the terrarium come out of the container and observe further what is happening. Since the main character of this video is a wasp spider, we will continue to talk about the features of this species. The bite of such a spider is quite painful, but in most cases its poison is not dangerous for humans. The sting of an edge up is comparable to the sting of a bee or wasp. The fact is that the wasp spider has rather strong jaws, and it is able to bite through the skin relatively deeply and then put poison into the wound. So, a job is poisonous, however, its poison is intended for grasshoppers and their relatives from the Adoptera order, which are hunted by a job. A spider may well bite a human, but it is not capable of causing any harm. Alpha, again, there is one stipulation. The body of some people is especially sensitive to certain substances, for example, to spider venom. In this case, it causes anaphylactic shock, a powerful response of the immune system that threatens life. However, eating, say, peanuts can lead to anaphylactic shock. Sensitive people need very little of it. And also, a bee sting, which can also cause anaphylactic shock. And also, a bee sting, which can also cause anaphylactic shock. So, how does the wasp spider catch its prey? Most often, these spiders weave beautiful webs of cobwebs. The finished trapping net is very beautiful, and in its center there is always a spider that looks like a wasp. Sometimes the spider is located on the underside of the web, spreading its long legs wide and passionately waiting for the next victim to fall into the trap. And if you touch this spider with a wand, it begins to stagger on its web in a very interesting way. Even 20 years ago, no one saw these spiders. And now it can be found almost everywhere, mainly in dry meadows. According to the agency, this is mainly due to the movement of some species, including arachnids, to the north, into areas at a pickle for their residents. Such migration is one of the evidence of climate warming, which is not good for all mankind. Well, as for our spiders, in about six hours they wove the simplest web that the wasp managed to get into. And while it was immobilized, one of the spiders sucked all the nutrients out of it. It turns out that spiders do not see a family relationship with wasps and can perceive them as prey. If you want to know how these spiders catch grasshoppers and whether they can catch big locusts, write I want in the comments and like this video, so we know what you're interested in. And that's all for now. Bye everyone!